Okay, and we're back for the third installment of the Freddy vs. Jason review. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, um, so this is going to just be my final thoughts on this. Um, let's see. Take, taking it for what it is, you know, um, I have to say that it's watchable. I really do. It's alright. I mean... I feel like the characters that you really like, they were entertaining, and I always seem like the characters that I like in, in movies always seem to die for some reason, like character Isabel's character, you know, whatever, she died, and I was like, why, why would she die so quickly, and another thing is like, Freddy doesn't really have a body count in this movie, isn't it Freddy versus Jason, like, shouldn't he be killing people, there was only one person he killed, and that was the guy who, um, who was, he burned up, he had a brother that killed himself because of Freddy or something, you know, and I was like, how does he have, like, one body count, and we can't really count the guy that he, you know, took over and got, he got sliced in half, because that was Freddy, and he, in sense, in a sense, that he killed Freddy, so, and the fact that, you know, Freddy has, like, no body count, and Jason is just killing everyone. You could say that Jason really won this fight, because it doesn't say winner kills all. Um, another thing was that the gore in this movie, the blood, like, every, every slash that Jason makes, he hits an artery or something, because everything just goes, and it's so fake. And you just see, like, when the people, they, he gets slashed, and he will, like, it seems like they're, like, you know, pushing on a fucking bag full of, a Ziploc bag full of blood, and it's really fake, I mean, it's like, you know, and to me, it's like, no, and then they have decapitations that look so fucking fake, too, I'm like, what is this, I mean, we're past this sort of fake looking shit, what, why, why is this happening right now, I mean, they have bad continuity, I mean, Freddy, like, stabs out Jason's eyeballs, and by the end of the movie, he has his fucking eyeballs, and he isn't in dreamland or anything. So I was thinking to myself, like, whoa. A good thing I liked about it is the music was good. I liked it, you know, it was pretty cool. But the fake-ass blood, you know, looking, fake-ass blood looking shit, you know, I'm like, no. I think that's what didn't attract me from the, about the movie from the get-go. I mean, I never seen a movie that had just had so much blood for the sake of blood and so much like spraying out like every single slash is a fucking artery I was just like no the, no um this movie is gonna get the story oh another thing I wanted to talk about is they actually do get the feels right I mean when you're in Elm Street it feels like Elm Street, you know, it feels like a Nightmare on Elm Street movie for that first half, and the second half, well, the finale feels like a Jason movie, for like a, a little bit, and I, and for the longest time, and I mean, for, for like about 10, 15 minutes, you know, I feel like they should have lingered a little bit more in, in Crystal Lake, I mean, it is Freddy versus Jason after all, I mean, they should have had a little bit more, I mean, I liked it, I liked it better, I mean, for real. I like the, the Crystal Lake setting better than Elm Street. Elm Street had this, like, little... Try, they tried extra hard to make it creepy and stuff like that. But I really liked the smoked-out Crystal Lake. It was pretty cool. I really liked that. And Kelly Rowland was fucking hilarious. He was like, you fucking asshole. Like, hitting him with the smallest little thing in the world. <laughs> I'm like, this guy is like, yay hi, and you're hitting him with a little fucking twig? What? Are you... <laughs> no. So I thought she was hilarious with that. I think they only had one effective death for me, which was um, Linderman's character. He just gets like, boom, like into the fucking... It was the only guy who didn't get slashed. I mean, boom, and, and he gets impaled by something, and then he comes off because of the force and impact and stuff. I was like, damn, that was the hardest one for me to watch, because I was like, oh, that's, that's horrible. <laughs> but everything else is just so generic, and you see it all the time in horror movies. Nothing really looked, I mean, Kelly Rowland who gets, you know, and it's obviously a dummy that hits the tree. I mean, if they weren't so go, so over the top, they could have had deaths that really looked, you know, legitimate. 
and it, re- it could really make you feel like, damn, we're in, we're, this is fucking hopeless, we're in a fucking war, you know, in between, like, in between these two titans, they really could have done something better, they really could have made more sympathetic characters that a, a, a main bitch can actually act, and have you feeling like the hopelessness that uh, a Freddy movie usually does have, you know, a Freddy movie would be like, you know, the hopelessness that Freddy, you know, the whole, I, well, we can't sleep, and to have, like, oh, we're not safe, awake, or alive, that would have been awesome, at least for me, I mean, I feel like if you can just get to the desperation and get characters to that fucking, you know, point without, you know, without fucking it up. <clears throat> So my favorite part is when they're at Crystal Lake, and it's fucking weird because I am in no me I'm by no means a huge Jason fan. So I was kind of weirded out that I like Jason's part better, you know, but because I love Nightmare on Elm Street, not like I love the whole thing. I just love the whole idea of it, and I love the first one, and the third one. So I was like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm definitely rooting for Freddy here, but there was just something about, you know, the whole. It just wasn't working. I mean, they made Robert England so over the top and stuff. Um, to wrap this up, the story. The story, oh God, I have to give it a three. A three. Because it has a lot of holes in it. I mean, no one can deny. You know, it has a lot of holes. And, you know, it's, 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 I give them, I give them a three. For the fact that they made the movie movable and kind of logical, you know, the acting gets a two because the main bitch, she's just so horrible and somehow she gets this gruff voice when she's yelling. She's like, I want to see them die. I mean, I want to see Freddy die. And originally they were going to have her say, Freddy, ver- Freddy versus Jason, place your bets. And the way she said it in director... This is how you know you have a bad director here, people, is when he says that a scene like that, that looks like that, and sounds like that, was good, and that they wanted to keep it, except for the test audience said it was retarded. Baffles me. And it's crew, because it's on the commentary, so pick this up for, like, fucking $5 and see for yourself. I was in shock when he said that, and I was like, are you fucking stupid? Who's paying you? I mean, I don't know how else that line could have been delivered, maybe. No, I mean, you can't put, you can't deliver that line without it seeming like a fucking self-endorsement, you know? But whatever, whatever, okay. Um, so, yeah, the acting gets a two. I should give it a two and a half for Kelly Rowland, because I, I thought she was okay. And Catherine Isabel was just amazing with the time that she had, I mean, she was just like, everything, everything about her character's walk. Her character, the way she carried herself, it just, it, it, you, it, she reminds you of, you know, either yourself or that one bitch that, that you know, you know, the smoking and drinking and the kind of shaking and the way she is, you know, two and a half for Captain Isabel and Kelly Rowland, because I don't know if Kelly had acted or whatever, but I'm not going to hate on her, you know, I'm not really a Destiny Child fan, but you know what, Kelly Rowland, you you didn't. You weren't the suckiest business bitch in this movie. You know who was the star? Maybe you should have been the star. Hell, I would have had that better than fucking. You know, what's her name? What is this bitch's name? Monica Kina. Yeah, Monica. You can't act. Use your big boobies and go to Playboy. Anyway, story uh, visuals were okay. Okay. Actually, no. They get a two. You know why? For all that artery gushing. That's why they do. This movie fucking pisses me off. But at the same time, it's okay. And that's why it gets a three. It gets a three because it's watchable. And if you're a fan, and if you're a horror fan, you should have this. Just to fucking laugh and say, ha ha ha. This is like a sign of the genre going to hell. So thank you for requesting this review. And I appreciate much appreciate it and comment rate and subscribe i know i just came alive at the end of this i'm sorry it wasn't more alive before but it is early and i am tired hope everybody's having a good time and yeah 
I don't know what the next review is going to be, but stay tuned.